Well, guess who's back? And welcome back here, folks. Sports Talk Nation. Michael Cohen here with you. A little bit more to talk about here on the Jets quarterback situation. Zach Wilson officially out for at least two to four weeks, basically a month, with a sprained PCL ligament uh, in, his, in his knee. It is not a tear. It is nothing that's going to require an extensive surgery or any kind of extensive worry beyond it being a sprain and being a two to four week injury. Now, certainly the Jets are going to take caution to the wind. We will not see Zach Wilson play a game for the foreseeable future. Now, there was uh, there was a quote from Robert Sala saying that there is the outside chance that Wilson could play in the November 14th game against the Buffalo Bills, which is about three weeks away. Um, we'll see. More likely, we see him again against the Dolphins or the Texans, for that matter. But we will not see uh, Zach Wilson for a while. And again, uh, I just want to reiterate what I said last night. And even even kind of expand upon what I said last night in last night's video, recapping the Week Seven uh, matchup against the Patriots. The, pl the he was the two hits that occurred on Zach Wilson. I don't know how they did not draw roughing the passer flanks, especially the first one towards the sideline, where he basically got whiplashed, and you see his leg make a very awkward uh, spin for that matter, an awkward awkward twist. I don't know how that was not roughing the passer there. Should have been roughing the passer on on Matthew Juden for the hit in Wilson's back after he had released the football. In each, each case, he had released the football, and there was time. I mean, we're in a league here where where players defend, where defensive players get flagged for just about anything when it comes to touching or even hitting the quarterback, and there were no flags that yesterday. There should have been flags on those plays in which Wilson was hit, for that matter. Uh, at the same time, uh, I have also said that the Jets have to take some responsibility for this. One, because they did not bring in a veteran quarterback at the start of the year. We'll get into this in a second, with the veteran quarterback part anyway, to start the year and the fact that they've had so many issues, especially in the offensive side of the ball, bad offensive line, lack of personnel in the offensive line, offensive coordinator, young offensive coordinator in his first year with uh, Matt Lef with Mike LaFleur, who has really looked overwhelmed by the entire situation. And really, the Jets, from that standpoint, haven't really helped this quarterback. I don't know why they don't go with more two tight end sets at least a fullback, something to protect this quarterback more. As a result, here they are. They're staring at Mike White being their starting quarterback on Sunday against the Cincinnati Bengals, who are red hot right now at 5-2. and two. Mike White will be making his first start ever in the National Football League. He played in his first ever game. Now this will be his first ever start. And now, finally, it's like, it's like, it's like, finally, it's like the skies have opened up. The clouds have cleared. The sun has risen through the cloud, the, the sun has peered through the clouds, and it's finally go out there and get a veteran quarterback as they send a conditional six-round pick to the Philadelphia Eagles to bring back Joe Flacco. Now, why wasn't this done a long time ago? Did the Jets not agree on a contract with it? Well, I, I would love to know what happened, why they didn't bring him back initially, because the Jets went through this entire period without a veteran quarterback in camp at all. You had Zach Wilson, you had Mike White, you had Josh Johnson, who has basically been on the practice squad all this time. You really had nobody behind Wilson all this time. And now, once you have Wilson out, once he is injured, now you go out and you bring in the veteran quarterback you should have brought in along, all along. And that, of course, bring him back, in this case, Joe Flacco, who was on this team last year, played in five games, started four. And... You know, when you look back at those games that Flacco played in, he wasn't that bad. I know the Jets lost all four of those games. It was a disastrous season with, with the Adam Gase. I totally understand that. But he did throw in those games six touchdowns, three interceptions. He gave them a chance, especially in the games against New England and the L.A. Chargers last year. And he's a veteran quarterback. So, yes, he's not the guy that once took the Ravens to Super Bowl about a decade, a decade ago. I totally understand that. That said, Flacco is still a capable veteran backup quarterback. He can still help a team win. And even when Wilson comes back, I, there's no reason why not to keep him around. Uh, at the very least, he can help this, this quarterback room. He can help Wilson. He can help uh, Mike White. Uh, he, he is certainly a valuable player as from that regard. And even when Wilson gets back, I would keep him around. I wouldn't just let him go just because Wilson is healthy. I would keep him around for the rest of the season, something they should have done from the very beginning. Now, as far as this game is concerned, 
So Mike White's going to get the start, but would I be shocked if we're sitting here, uh, the Thursday night game against the Colts, or even the Buffalo game if Wilson doesn't start and we're seeing Joe Flacco in the center? I would not be shocked at all. Do not be shocked at all. So the Jets finally make the move. They get the veteran quarterback in camp. Wilson is out for the ne- for the next at least the next four weeks. Thankfully, it's nothing more than a sprain, and uh, from that standpoint, we go from there. But still, uh, a disappoint. It's dis- It's so uh, like a lot of Jeff fans are pointing out. It's disappointing in so many levels and so many ways that w- that they are at this point. It's a frustrating, frustrating situation right now for the New York Jet fans. So. You know what to do, folks. Like and subscribe here to the Sports Talk Nation. Follow us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Program, And, of course, follow us on Twitter at OpenMikeNJ. And as I said before, like and subscribe. We'll talk to you next time.